Good morning, everyone. This is Ms. Nardoga. I am the technology teacher for Sable Elementary for second and third grade. I wanted to help you guys out a little bit today because you will be getting um, from your specials teachers, from basic skills, LRC, ELL, whatever your child's in, you're going to be getting requests to add Google Classrooms for each teacher. Um, so I wanted to show you how to add them in case you haven't figured out already, because I know some people are having a lot of problems. All right, so I am logged in as my student. Okay, so you can see right here, it shows me that I'm logged in as her. So I'm going to go over here to the waffle. And then I'm going to click on classroom. Mind you, when I'm making these videos, sometimes it runs a little slow, so please bear with me. So the two codes that I have to enter already are for computers and for music. And gym, but I didn't, I didn't grab that code yet. Okay, all right, so once you're in, you're going to see up here, right here where I am, let's see if I can use this, spotlight, right here, you're going to see a plus sign. When you click on the plus sign, you're going to join a class. You're going to enter the class code. So I'm going to do mine. I I R five three A Q, and then I'm going to hit join. Okay. Once you join the class, it's going to show up. So here's mine. This Nardone's technology. Okay. Now I'm going to go back over here. Let's see. Back, click back. All right, I'm going to add another class. So I'm going to come over here to the plus sign. I'm going to click on the plus sign again, just so you get this. Try one more time. Click on the plus sign. There we go. Okay, I'm going to add second grade music to it. C C N R four Q you and join. Now I'm in Slay Ball Elementary music for second grade. All right, now I want to show you one more thing. Um, I know for my assignments, they're in Brain Pop Junior, and um, some other teachers are starting to post some Brain Pop Junior um, classes also. So if you go to W dot pop junior .com. It's going to bring you to being brain pop. Now, for the most part, your username is their lunch number and the password are is their two initials one, two, three, four, five, six. Some students, and this was just maybe a handful, had to use their last name. And lunch number, and then the same password. Your two initials: one, two, three, four, five, six. All this information is also on our Facebook page. Okay, so to get into your students' um, class, your teacher will give you a code to join their class. All right, so you're going to enter the code. Okay, mine was dust. Dust six six. Submit. Now it's probably going to show you that we're already in. Okay, so once you're there. You've entered your code.
It's going to ask you to log in. Now listen, you only need the code one time. So you don't have to add the code every time. Once you have your classes on, whether it's me, technology, whether it's music, you know, whoever's giving you the code, you're just going to log on. I'm going to log my student on. Okay, so once you're logged on, you know, and the teachers will share the um, links to the assignments too, but it's crazy because sometimes the links will work and sometimes they won't. And you'll, it'll take you over to regular brain pop. We don't have a login for regular brain pop. We only have brain pop junior. So if you are on regular brain pop, then your login's not going to work. So it's really easier just to go to the brain pop junior website and then log in and go to the child's dashboard. That's the easiest way to go. Of course, we're still going to post the links, but if the link doesn't work, just take a deep breath and go and log into the brain pop junior site and then you will be able to um, log in and see their assignments. So once you're on here, I'll just talk. Once you're on here and your students logged in, you're gonna see their number at the top and then you're going to see, I'm just gonna go back. And then you're going to see the word dashboard. When you click on dashboard, all the assignments are going to come up for your student, okay, in their classes, of course. Okay, so once you get, we'll just, we'll just do this roll dog. Once you go to your child's account, go to dashboard. And that's where all of your assignments will be. So that needs to be completed. Um, it's most teachers are doing, you know, giving the videos and the videos are great because they have a lot of new information for the students. They explain it really nice. And then um, there's easy quizzes and there's other things on there that you might want to, um, they might give writing assignments and that can all be done right on the computer. So if this helps, besides my little technology uh, blips, which I feel like everybody's stuff is running pretty slow. Enjoy your day. If you need any help, just let me know.